Hi, in another video we derived the formula for the charge within a capacitor. We ended up with this. The value for time we stick in there will be in seconds. And because this number has to be a unitless uh, number, that means R times C must be in the u must have units of seconds. And I was like, what resistance times capacitance must have units of seconds? So it got me thinking. Uh, is that true then? So I did a little bit of a breakdown. Uh, we've got resistance there, capacitance here. Uh, the unit of resistance is ohms, the unit of capacitance is farads. And you think, well, ohms times farads, how is that going to give me seconds? Well, if we break it down a bit more, we know that resistance is voltage over current. We know that capacitance is defined as the charge per volt. Multiply these two together, we see, we see the V's cancel. So that ends up being charge over current. Now if you look up here, we can see that current equals charge over time, therefore charge must equal current times time. So if I replace charge with current times time, I get IT over I. The I's cancel, and it leaves, with, leaves me with T, time, which is in seconds. So incredibly... Resistance times capacitance has units of seconds. Eh? I find that uh, really interesting. Right, so let's also check this with the base units as well. Uh, ultimately, we want to do R times C. So R, resistance, equals voltage over current. Uh, current's easy, that's just measuring amps. But voltage is a bit more difficult. Voltage is energy per charge. And energy is force times distance. And force is mass times acceleration. So we've got mass times acceleration times distance divided by charge, which is current times time. So we end up with mass times acceleration times distance divided by current times time. If I put all them units in, I get this. Uh, I can combine them to M's. So I end up with, and I can combine them to S's. Voltage is kilograms meter squared uh, per seconds cubed per amps. Right, then if I put that into my formula up here, all of that divided by amps gives me for resist the units for resistance is kilograms meter squared per seconds cubed per amps squared. Alright. Uh, so that's the base units of resistance. Now for capacitance, I've got capacitance is charge over volts. Charge is IT, so I've got IT over volts. Now I just worked out volts before, it's this. So I can put them units on the bottom. Uh, current is amps, time is seconds. So I get amps, seconds divided by all them units. Ends up giving me that. That's the base units for capacitance. So... If I combine them to what R times C, resistance times capacitance, the base units of R, the base units of C, and notice most of them cancel, the KJs cancel, the M's cancel, the A's cancel, and I'm just left, left with S, S to the power 4 times S to the power minus 3, just leaves me with seconds. So the whole of them base units boil down to seconds. So isn't that amazing? Uh, the base units also prove that the units of resistance times capacitance is just seconds. Totally incredible, man. You would never like intuitively think that, but that's what the math says. Great stuff. Great stuff again.